So joining me on the couch this morning is Connor O'Brien, who's the co-chair of the Kiwanis World Getaway Committee, talking about a new $50,000 musical playground that could be coming to the Walnut Street School. But $50,000 is a heavy price tag. Yes, it is. Okay, so to get started, first tell us what the Kiwanis Club does. Sure. So the Kiwanis Club is a group of volunteers. Um, we're in all the local communities in the metro, and what we try to do is strive to help the children and the youth in the community. Okay, so this is a great way to do that. Why do you think that it's important for kids to have access to a musical playground like this? And tell us a little bit about what this playground is. Sure, so it's mostly percussion instruments, okay. typically. You might see them at some playgrounds around the metro. Um, sometimes there's just maybe one or two instruments. This is gonna be kind of a circular format uh, right outside of the, the drop-off area, Walnut Street School, where kids can play while they're waiting to be picked up. Oh, cool. Uh, but it's also gonna be accessible to the public. Wonderful. Yep. So how are you raising money? <laughs> so uh, this year we are uh, raising money through a raffle. Uh, we call it the World Getaway, or we also call it the uh, Have Dinner Anywhere in the World. So people can buy tickets for $10 a piece or packs of 11 for 100, and it gives them a chance to win a trip to go anywhere they want in the world. Oh, you're kidding me. Yep. That sounds really cool. That like. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting you to say that, Connor, to be completely honest. Well, what do you mean go anywhere in the world? So uh, we got the idea from a club in Canada, and uh, they've been doing this for a number of years. And the, uh, due to our sponsors uh, being able to help us out, um, we've been able to raise enough money to pay for uh, airfare for two people, as well as $2,000 in spending money that anyone can use to do what they want when they get there. That can get you a lot of places, Absolutely. Connor. Uh, now, how much money, how many raffle tickets do you have to sell in order to pay for this trip and to pay for this $50,000 musical playground? So I wish we could raise all $50,000, okay. but there are certain limits to the gambling license that we hold. Correct. So <laughs> we're, our goal is to sell at least 3,000 tickets this year. Okay, and that can really go a long way. Yeah, absolutely. Why is it important for kids to have access to this kind of a uh, playground? You know, I just think it's something that anyone of any ability can use it. Um, so you don't have to be a high functioning child to use it, um, but high functioning children can use it as well. And it's fun, cognitive development, uh, emotional support. Um, you can do it with your parents as well. <laughs> um, I have kids, so when I go to the park, sometimes that's one of the things that we do. We play on the musical instruments there. And it can really bring so much joy too to Absolutely. kids of all abilities. Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay, so how do we buy these tickets? So the easiest way would be to go to kiwanisworldgetaway.com. Um, K-I-W-A-N-I-S, KiwanisWorldGetaway.com. Uh, and you can sign a simple form there and someone from our club will reach out to you to exchange the tickets and the money. Awesome. Okay, tell us how much they are one more time. $10 for one ticket or you can buy a pack of 11 for 100. I'm intrigued. I don't know about you, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> it's my third year doing this, so we're excited. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you being here Absolutely. for everything you're doing for these little kiddos. Thank you so much.